In this lesson, we're going to cover how to edit a component in the context of the assembly. Also, we'll cover how to edit that component in its own window. And we'll also talk about how to go back and isolate an assembly constraint that has gone bad. The file that I have open is called arborpress edit.iam and it can be found in your chapter 6 exercise folder. First of all what I'm going to do is zoom back up onto this table plate. If I want to edit this I have like I said in the intro I have two different ways of doing this. I can edit it in the context of the assembly. There's two different ways of doing that. Once the part is highlighted I can double click on it and you'll see what that's going to do. It's going to gray out the other parts. Now in this case, in the browser, you see that everything else is grayed out. And at this point, I can do anything that I were to do in its own window. So for example, if I wanted to place a fillet on those edges, I could go ahead and do that. And now if I went back and did a save, it's going to save that specific file. And then I can click on the return tool or you can go back and click on the top if you're back down maybe in a sketch to take you to the very top level. Or another method to return is double click on the file name in the browser. All of those will take us back. In this case you'll notice that I have an error on the assembly constraint so for now I'm just going to accept that. We'll come back and take a look at that in a little bit. The other way to edit the component in place is is highlighted and once it's highlighted right click then click edit from the menu and then of course we can do the exact same thing that we did before now the next way is to open the file in its own window again there's two ways of doing that I can move my cursor over the selected part right click open or you can go back into the browser right click open as well and what this is going to do it's going to open up the file in its own window and in this case what I'm going to do is delete the fillet that we just placed I'm going to save that close out of the file and when I go back into the assembly you'll see that that fillet is no longer there so next what I want to do is let's go back and isolate our assembly constraint issue. You'll notice that we have the red cross up on the, on the uh, pull down menu area. So I'm going to click on that. And you'll notice right in the design doctor it's telling me that I have the, the mate 15 and mate 18 that are inconsistent with, another, with one another. So let's go ahead and click on next. And if I walk through there you'll see that I can go back and edit that, delete it, I can suppress the specific constraint in issue here or I can isolate and edit that constraint. So in this, click, this case let's just go ahead and click on finish and then the uh, edit constraint dialog box I could go back and make that change. I'm going to hit cancel on that for a second. Now that I have these components isolated here I want to undo that just to show another method. So inside the, the constraint here, so if I go back I can scroll on down you'll see that at mate 15 and mate 18 from that table are inconsistent so if I right click on the constraint and doesn't matter which one I have a couple different options I can isolate those components here and once I isolate those components you see it's going to isolate the components in this case that the constraints are applied to so in this case to go back and fix that I'm just going to delete that constraint and once I do that you'll notice the red cross is gone. I can right click and undo isolate to bring the visibility of all those components and that pretty much covers the methodologies for going back and editing components and isolating assembly constraint issues.